Hi, I'm Jacob Holger, artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a gargoyle. And we're working in self hardened clay. Uh, it's also considered air dry clay. And I'm going to start off with rolling a ball. Let's get to the uh, shape I want. Sort of squeezing, trying to visualize what um, what I want for the shape of the uh, for the shape of the head. Just um, pressing in to form the the nose and the eyes, the beginning of the eyes. I, uh, I had uh, stopped doing tutorials for a little bit and uh, when I came back to it when I got nervous I started getting nervous and my hands shake a little bit so if you notice that today that's probably what's going on and uh, when I was sitting at my desk deciding if I wanted to do a tutorial I was not shaking at all and then as soon as I started putting it together and setting up my set and everything, um, that's when they started to shake. So, it's, if you could just bear with me, I'd appreciate it. You can see it's kind of coming into... Excuse the sirens too. Okay, um, I think what we're going to do is start working on the eyes here a little bit. Um, and so I just took that tool and made little eye sockets and then now I'm going to roll two balls to go in the eye sockets. I'm just pinching off a little bit of the uh, of the balls to make them fit. I've got a back end of a broken paintbrush here that I'm going to use to put uh, pupils in the eyes. Just kind of got them pointed off to the right. Like that. Now I'll take uh a little noodle of clay to make the eyelids.
I try to make them covering the topmost part of the uh, eye pupil so he doesn't look too surprised or anything. I'm not trying to make a scary gargoyle. This is going to be more of a cute one. Now I'm just going to reform the uh, pupils a little bit. Now I think, uh, keep in mind I haven't made this one before. I've made some gargoyles before, but not this one. So it's kind of new. Now I'm gonna, uh, I wanna start getting the body going a little bit. I think it needs to be bigger than that. A little bit more stout. Okay, we're going to uh, get the head put on this here in just a minute. And uh, I'm just I want I want his head down kind of below his what his shoulders would be. Let's set that in there a little bit. And uh, okay, then what I do is I whenever I join two pieces of clay, um, I try to. Uh, um, score the parts to be joined. And then score the head. And then take uh, a dab of water and put it on both sides. and twist the parts together. He seems to want to look to the right, which I, I like uh, let my creatures um, kind of do what they want to do. He just looks, it looks like he's, that's what he should be doing, so I'm going to let him do it. And then uh, I'm, all I'm doing here is blending in uh, the head to the body. Okay. I'm just going to give him a little bit of squirt with water. It's really warm today and I don't want him to dry out too much on me. And so I just use a spray bottle like that.
we're going to take a ball of clay. So I have to come up with the size I need. And this is going to be for his leg and thigh on his left side. And so I start with rolling a ball and then I roll, roll it into a cone shape. This is not going to be his whole leg, it's just going to be um, his upper portion of his leg. And then score it. And wet it. I'm just kind of pressing it into his body there. It's going to be in kind of a squatting position. Start off with a ball, roll it into a cone shape. Just put it up next to this one to see if it's about the right size. Score it. You really want to make sure you score things before you put them together. It's pretty important. Now we'll take, we want the front part of his leg, or the lower part of his leg, I should say. I'll probably want a little bit longer. Go ahead and score it. Now I'll worry about positioning it in a little bit here. Rolling it into kind of a long cone shape. You see how this is going together. It's really not, it takes a little bit of labor to do it, but it's not hard to do really.
I'm going to work on his arms. And I'm not really sure at this point how I'm going to do them. Okay, I'm going to roll, roll the ball. And then roll it so it's got kind of a fatter end and then skinnier up there. Sounds like somebody's vacuuming too. We just got everything going on today. Just kind of trying to decide how I'm going to do this. longer This seems to work pretty good. Let's see, probably need a little bit more clay on that ball. See what I got here. I want to make sure it's about the same size as the other arm. I don't think it is. You gotta roll it out some more. Yeah, that's about right now. Now I'm thinking about. putting it like that. Yeah, like that. I'm blending it in to the back there. Put 
think that works okay. In fact, um, maybe if I put it like that and then move his head down onto it, The joy of self-hardening clay is the nice thing about it. You can do that sort of thing. And his head is still turned the way he seemed to want it. I'm going to grab some more clay. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now... I want to work on his feet and his hands. I gotta get this on the board and leave it on the board, really, where I need it. So for his foot, I'm going to roll a ball, roll it into a cone shape like that. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. And it's going to go there. So I need to score it. Wet it. And I'm putting it up his leg just a little ways like that at an angle, see? And then I'm going to slide it down while pressing against it, against the foot. And it'll give it a nice bond. And then, uh... I'm going to do his toes. It's going to be the big toe here. Sorry, I didn't know you couldn't see that. My fault. Sometimes I wet the tool too, if you saw me do that. And also, I'm putting the toes up on the uppermost part of the uh, of the um, foot so they don't easily break off when you set the uh, guard world down Okay, now I'm going to make the other foot. Roll a ball. Roll it into a cone shape. I want to set it on the other, on top of the other foot. So, score it.
I'm going to take a little bit of clay and fill this in down here. And then we'll start the toes. So, you know, the fingers and the toes, they take some time to do. But they're not, they're not real hard. You just, I think the thing to do is if you're just starting out, you, you haven't sculpted much, is just be real patient with yourself. Because I've been doing this for a long time. And so it comes easier for me than it does for you but that doesn't mean you can't learn and get good at it the the main thing is is to is to practice and to be you know just be patient with yourself and say all right i'm going to i'm going to practice you know as much as possible and Make lots of different things. Just keep trying. Now, one thing that I recommend doing is when you're working on toes or something like that, don't go directly to the hands. Do something different. So I'm going to I'm going to do that myself because I I need a little break myself. And I'm going to make the ears. I like to make my ears pretty thick because then they are less likely to break. So let's see, how's that going to look? Yeah, that might look good. Let's make another one. I have a big ear, but that's all right. So, kind of just pinching it into a kind of a flattened cone shape. And, uh, kind of making the, a little pocket inside there. Okay, and then I score it.
and then Now we'll turn them around, which is kind of scary because they haven't been working on the back hardly at all. And then take a minute to work on his back a little bit. Just uh, blending and smoothing it a little bit. Take a tool and just trim that off a little bit there. Okay, we're back and we're going to start working on the uh, fingers. And I'm just going to make them kind of fat. Just sort of sit them in there for a minute to see how it looks. And Another sculpting tool I've got here and just uh, kind of sculpt that in around his face a little bit. I'm not going to put a thumb on that hand because <clears throat> it's kind of up against his face where the thumb would be. Okay, this is gonna look pretty good there, I think. And then, and it's, it is easier to, to sculpt fingers onto something like his body than it is to have them just free, free out like that. So keep that in mind.
and I'm just going to have uh, three fingers on them. Now, um, one thing that can add to the shape of the hand is to add this portion of basically meat, for lack of a better term, right here. So you can roll a little noodle. This helps a little bit. And then you can take uh, the back end of a paintbrush Depending on how much space you have there, sometimes you can use a tool like this. But I don't think I'm going to have the space for the tool. But let's try it anyways. Just um, put a little indentation there for the nails. And uh, you can also use the back end of a paintbrush and just put a little um, indentation there. And you can do it, you can use this one for the nails on the toes. And then uh, this other, um, I know we're starting on the other hand. Probably should have a little bit more clay on that. And his, his thumb actually is kind of obscured by his leg, so...
And then, uh, what I like to do with, um, with gargoyles and such is, is if there isn't a lot of texture, um, go around and just put some in. I like to leave the sculpting marks in as well. But I like to go around and just, uh, you know, just put random marks in. This hand, this hand looks better than this one. This one looks a little flat. And then, uh, let's just talk a little bit. So once you get your texture and you want to go and, you know, blend anything that, uh, needs to be blended or filled in it'll make it stronger if it's filled in like you can like you have a little gap like this you can take some clay and fill it in there like that and just go around and do that the whole sculpture and um, and then uh, when you're all done, you can sign it, of course. Let's clean this up a little bit. And then when you get ready to dry it, probably before you uh, dry it, you'll probably want to um, go ahead and wet it down a little bit. If you want to smooth it before, if you want to smooth it and you don't want it rough, you can take uh, a brush and water and just brush it like that. Just take your time and go around and make it nice and smooth if that's what you want. And um, and then you before you dry it, you want to wet it a little bit and cover it loosely with a plastic bag. And, um, and then after about 24 to 36 hours, you can uncover it and just let it dry slowly, air dry. And that'll be it. And then you can paint it or do whatever you want with it. Um, so it's a fun, fun project. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos along these lines. Please give the video a thumbs up, let me know what you thought of it, and leave me a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.